all right hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing some kind of like valentine's day inspired nail art i guess nail set video um i was picking my nail forms or my nail they're not nail tips but they're just full-on like nails they're kind of they kind of remind me of the a press nails i really love these nails from aliexpress because they have the best curve and pinch and they literally lasted as long as an acrylic set i'm pretty sure the last ones like the other valentine's day <clears throat> look that i did it lasted like three weeks three or four weeks i don't know um so now i'm filing the sides these are already um you can order these in any type of shape you want i ordered mine in coffin i'm just filing the sides a little bit and then filing the tips to just take off that little that little extra piece of plastic and the number so once i get done with that i tried i really did try i tried to do some builder gel on top to make it like thicker and make it look more like you know professional set but then when i cured i did it on my thumb it was all good and well until i went to cure and like i said i have a really low watt um led uv lamp so it doesn't cure properly and it takes forever to cure if you're using anything like thicker than gel polish so i went to cure for three minutes and then i took it out and i literally wiped it down like you're supposed to do with like poly gels and stuff and it, it wasn't cured so the the part that wasn't um cured just came off like the whole thing came off so i was just like all right we're not doing this but i just wanted to show you that i did try to do that But I will say I really love Builder Gel. I don't know what about it. I just love Builder Gel because I feel like it's more, it's more like workable. It does take longer, I guess, because you have to do each nail at a time if you don't work fast like me because I'm a beginner. I just, I bought it, like I ordered a whole bunch of them on AliExpress because this one seller, like this container is usually like three, four dollars maybe now. But this one seller sold it for like 89 cents. So I bought like four like whites pink and clear <clears throat> and <clears throat> they've been sitting in my little um nail container like i have not used them and i need to find a use for them so like i hope i can but after that failed i started going straight into um polish so i'm using this peel off tape like peel off base coat around my nails because if you guys may or may not know I'm left-handed and I'm using my non-dominant hand to do these nails so the painting nail polish was so bad I'm actually scarred it was so bad this video is probably gonna be like between 8 and like 10 minutes long but it actually took me like two hours to film just painting and, and drawing hearts in nail polish I was I was stunned I was really like wow wow that was so difficult I don't know why but this purple color is like the best thing this lavender purple i love this color so much and i was going for that like you know those be mine candies that we used to get when we were younger like the ones on the little string like those or like the ones people get in um with the valentine's day cards that's the theme i was going for so i painted all the nails like differently really fun bubbly colors so i could like paint different hearts on them and stuff and you'll see how i mess up so much like it was like some things i just couldn't undo it was so bad especially drawing with the non-dominant hand with such small details it was really difficult okay so i also wanted to comment the white nail polishes like the nail polishes in the white bottle are way better than the ones in the black bottle but i just got them so maybe that's a thing with aliexpress nail polishes since they're so cheap because the ones in the black bottle like after a while they start to get thick and clumpy i don't know if it's my fault for like not shaking them before using it maybe that's it but like the light pink i use on my index finger my ring finger it's so like i don't know how to explain it it became like clumpy and no matter how many coats i tried to put on some parts would be like thicker than others maybe i should shake them if you guys know of any of these types of issues please comment down below because i don't know i don't really like to use nail polishes a lot because i usually do like simple designs with like acrylic or foils so i'm trying to get into like nail polish art a little bit more but yeah the colors I mean the lavender was my favorite it was just really vibrant and you could see when I put it in the video when I put it on the video it took like one coat and it was like perfect 
um yeah this is the color i'm talking about like it looks fine on camera and it looks fine before i cure it but after i cure it and wipe it down i was getting like clumps on one side and then like some air bubbles and that's so hard to fix like i don't think the camera picks it up as much but it was really bad all right so the nails look so pretty on their own like i feel like this is a cute design if you go to into a nail salon and you're like i just want to get like a simple acrylic set and they do this kind of color scheme because it's so pretty and vibrant but i wiped them down and that's when i started to have issues but i kind of ignored them because i was like hey i'm doing hearts on top anyway so what if i just like paint little hearts like i tried to use brown because like chocolate and valentine's day and then i did like the other colors like i just did the opposite colors on different hands to like mimic that kind of like be mine candy but like I, some of the mistakes i couldn't cover and then using the little um dotting tool by the way that is like the best way to make hearts it makes it so easy you just have to kind of do like three circles and then move it around until it kind of looks like a heart um I, my hand was shaky I was like trying to film make sure it was in frame and then like I would mess it up you don't see it on camera but I wipe off so many hearts but it doesn't look really bad from afar you have to like really look at my hand for a long time and really close to see the issues and mistakes and streaks but I just cured it um, and then I wipe it down and then I go to like um, what's it called i go to add some rhinestones some some gems i feel like the nails were pretty good on their own looking back now without the gems but the gems are like a good addition i want to watch more videos on youtube to learn how to like have a color scheme or design scheme with the gems i did order different shapes of gems that are coming from aliexpress like a while ago so when those get here i'm gonna practice because i want to make like what's the word I want it to flow you know when um nail artists have like gem designs that look cohesive that's what i want i want it to like look like something i don't want it to just be random i did change like around the ones the gems that you see on camera now i changed them a lot because i was so indecisive and i did not know what color gems to put on the uh, like the nails because they were already really colorful but like it kind of worked out in the end for what it was so <laughs> yeah Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and liking, commenting, and subscribing. I will try to do more nail designs and take your suggestions. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!